I recently saw this tweet by Nolan that really excited me where he says, I kicked myself too many times on these AI plays where all I had to do was company name plus AI and see if they had a big search volume wave, which MongoDB did in January. Now what he's talking about here is MongoDB just had earnings and post earnings MongoDB jumped roughly 28% based on the fact that AI was a large part in growth for their product in and company. And of course he's saying here that if he was able to track all of the terms of tech companies related to AI before this announcement, he would have been able to see that MongoDB was clearly increasing in terms of search related to AI, and he would have been able to participate on this trade before the earnings came out and the stock jumped 28%. This got me excited because of course, this is exactly what I ended up doing. I took this idea and I ended up creating a list of roughly 500 tech companies plus the word AI to see which companies are the biggest beneficiaries of AI and have the potential to jump in a similar way to MongoDB, as well as NVIDIA, which just went up over roughly 25% during their most recent earnings. Now, a little sneak peek of what I'm going to talk about later in this video. Here's a term that I ended up finding, which if you look at the blue line, the blue line is the word NVIDIA plus AI, whereas the red line is this company that I'm going to be talking about in this video, plus AI, and you can see that it is significantly higher than NVIDIA, and this other company has not yet had earnings, nor do I believe this AI jump is priced in, and this was just one of the insights that I gained from doing what Nolan was suggesting in his tweet, so I wanted to share it with you today in this video. So you might be wondering, how did I even track 100 or 1,000 search terms related to AI to see which ones were spiking? Well, I used a platform that I created called Ticker Trends. Ticker Trends is an alternative data research platform where you can track hundreds, if not thousands of different alternative data points, such as search terms, website, search volume, um, social media terms, and much, much more, and see how that alternative data relates to these different public companies. Currently, Ticker Trends is just $89 per month, which is an absolute steal compared to the value that it provides, which I'm going to show you in this video. And Ticker Trends has data sets, which are traditionally hundreds, if not tens of thousands of dollars to traditional institutions and larger hedge funds. However, we're offering it for just $89 per month. Although this might seem like a high price, if you are able to make just one or two additional profitable trades, let's say per month or per, per quarter, this can pay back in dividends compared to the additional insights in alpha that you are able to gain in your own personal stock trading. So that's why I think that if you like this video and you're interested in the strategies which I discuss in this video, then Ticker Trends would be a great platform for you and I highly recommend you check it out at tickertrends.io. One other thing I wanted to mention is we just launched the Ticker Trends Social Arbitrage Fund. If you're interested in the Ticker Trends Social Arbitrage Fund, send us an email, admin at Nav Trading Co. We're currently looking for seed capital into our fund where we have been trading with an alternative data focused strategy for over two years now and have been able to achieve roughly 340% returns compared to the S&P 500, which has been flat in the same period. In this chart here, you can see the blue line is our personal internal trading account, um, which has been able to achieve that 340% return that I was talking about, whereas the black line is the S&P 500, uh, which actually in this same period was completely flat. So clearly alternative data is able to give you an edge over the rest of the market. So now that we have a platform to actually track this data, how did I build the actual data set itself? I ended up going to ChatGBT and I told ChatGBT, give me 500 public tech company names without the ticker symbol or typical business terms like holdings, corporations, et cetera. I wanted this data set to be relatively clean. So that's why I told it to exclude terms like holding, inc, corporation, anything like that. So then I was able to get a list of 500 terms of public tech companies. And I put all of these terms into a spreadsheet which you can see here. And in fact, maybe I'll leave a link to the spreadsheet uh, in the description down below, 
but essentially you can see that I took all of these tech company names and I appended the word AI to the end of them. Um, and the reason why it's in this format is because I can actually take this spreadsheet with all these terms, all these 500 AI related terms and import them directly into ticker trends. So that's exactly what I did. I imported them into ticker trends and then I was able to analyze these terms um, and rank these terms based on the search volume of how much they've increased over time. Now, an interesting outcome from putting this data into ticker trends is that I discovered that it's actually not very difficult to find trends that have had significant increases to find search terms that have had significant increases related to AI. Obviously, there are a lot of tech companies that have been beneficiaries of AI um, or people are looking for you know, the company name plus AI, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the company is actually um, profiting or benefiting from the AI trend itself. So although there were roughly 50 to 60 terms that have had large increases in terms of people searching for the company name plus AI, there were only three actionable insights that I was able to discover from this data set. So I then made a little research report, which I posted on Twitter. So you can check out our Twitter at ticker plus where I post different research reports like this. And this is where I talk about uh, the term, which I kind of hinted at earlier in the video, which was getting higher search volume than even NVIDIA. So if you see here, the first insight that I was able to discover was Pinterest. So Pinterest, has had strong generative AI search trends, and that has resulted in this incredible search volume graph that you see here. Clearly, Pinterest AI um, is absolutely skyrocketing, and this is a significant trend uh, compared to the actual success of the company as a whole, because Pinterest is clearly a beneficiary of these AI trends. So I then did a little bit more research into why Pinterest um, was having such significant increases in an AI related search term. And essentially what I found is, of course, it's related to AI generative art, but more specifically, NSFW AI generated related art. Pinterest banned NSFW content from their platform. However, AI generative art has kind of been able to find that fine line between being complete pornography, which Pinterest does not allow, um, while still being kind of NSFW, um, which users on Pinterest seem to have a very high interest for. So Pinterest was the first company that I found that had this interesting AI pop um, that, that I didn't really think was fully priced in to the company yet. Um, and of course, this isn't as strong of a play as the next one, which I'm about to talk about here, which is the one that excited me the most, which is Adobe. Now, Adobe is actually the term that had this pop, which I was talking about earlier, which was significantly higher than NVIDIA. Um, this is interesting because, uh, if, so if you look here, this bottom line is NVIDIA AI, whereas this top red line is Adobe AI, um, which is roughly double the search volume, even after NVIDIA just had their significant earnings uh, pop at 25%. And Adobe hasn't even had earnings yet um, during this AI period. So this, this is a big opportunity um, with Adobe. Now, what I know about Adobe AI is Adobe has been integrating AI into a lot of their software. Um, however, they also have other products such as the Adobe AI podcast enhancer. Um, they've essentially made a product that can improve any audio recording using AI to make it sound like a professional microphone, even if it's not a professional microphone. Um, essentially, Adobe has had all of these really interesting AI products, including Adobe Firefly, which I'll put a picture of on screen right now. Um, they've had all these interesting AI products, and they've been one of the companies that has been the best at integrating AI into their software in a way that is extremely beneficial to their users. Whereas a lot of companies have kind of struggled to implement AI um, and it's kind of an afterthought where, you know, you, you see all these companies throwing AI into their platforms where it's either not really a completed feature or it's not really something that provides much benefit where Adobe has been able to put it into their software and clearly users have seen notab noticeable improvements in the software, um, which is why these, these search trends have, have been so significant. 
So Adobe was the one that I was very excited about. And not only were the search trends for AI increasing, um, but so was their search web traffic. So here is the web traffic chart for adobe.com. And you can see in this period of AI increase, there's also been an increase in the number of people going to the adobe.com website, which is of course a huge indicator for a software subscription company in terms of if they're gaining more users or more revenue. Um, and I think post earnings, the market is going to realize that Adobe is one of the strongest AI players currently, potentially even surpassing uh, NVIDIA's involvement in AI, although it's a different aspect of AI uh, that Adobe is benefiting from. Uh, the third one, which I think is not necessarily as exciting as this Adobe play, um, but nonetheless is still a great opportunity, is Microsoft versus um, Microsoft Azure versus Amazon AWS. If you don't already know, AWS makes up a majority of Amazon's revenue. And so it's a very significant portion of their business. AI is a huge cloud computing um, player now, since if you're able to get this AI market in your cloud computing platform, then you know, you're gonna be able to see sizable increases um, in revenue. And what we've been able to see is that Azure versus AWS AI, it's very clear that Azure is winning this battle. And I see this as a big loss for Amazon AWS um, because of course in cloud computing, it's extremely competitive. And AI is a market that people are spending a lot of money on in terms of cloud computing. And we've already seen that with Nvidia. So the fact that Azure has been able to dominate this market, quite frankly, when you're looking at these search trends of Azure being the red line and AWS being this blue line, there's clearly much more significant search for Azure AI versus AWS AI. I think that this is a big negative for the AWS platform, and it shows that developers are choosing Azure over AWS for training their models, for, for buying these GPU, uh, for renting these GPUs, etc. So in terms of the opportunity, the way to trade this, I think that there's a decent spread trade here where you can long Microsoft and short Amazon for a little cloud spread trade to say that Azure is going to be a clear winner in the AI cloud computing market, whereas AWS is kind of lagging behind. And since it does make up such a substantial portion of revenue for Amazon, I don't think this is a very good thing um, as a whole for the company. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these three AI plays that I discovered from tracking over 500 AI public company related search terms. As I mentioned before, if you're interested in doing this research for yourself, make sure to check out the Ticker Trends platform, gain access to this platform. Maybe you're gonna find way better trades than the three trades that I've talked about in this video. Um, and that's why I think this platform is so exciting because it's not just a place where there's only one opportunity or one way to profit um, from, this, from this AI trend, for example. It's a place where you can look into any trend, whether it be the shoe market, whether it be restaurants, anything, you can discover the, the term, the company, the product that's trending the most and then find a way to produce actionable insights from that in financial markets, whether it be the stock market, cryptocurrency, commodities, foreign exchange, anything. That, that's why Ticker Trends is such a cool product to me. And I think for $89 a month, it's, it's an absolute steal. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.